Guys, welcome back. We're playing Feed the Beasts guys today. I did have the chance to play it in the better version but I didn't have the time to release a video. So today guys you can actually go and download it yourself from the FTB app. The link will be down in the description. And yeah guys this pack feels amazing. From the design to the music to the quest book everything guys. Everything feels so good about this pack. So let's get on to it guys you start on this absolutely lovely creation this is absolutely fantastic check this out good job to the builder man this is absolutely fantastic but anyways guys this is not where our let's play will commence you need to go back here this is where you spawn you just turn around there is a portal here which says the journey begins here. And if you step in, you get five options. The FTB Sky Island, the Anti-Sky Island, the Minimalist Sky Island, Chosen's Sky Island, and then the Fifth Island, the Compact Sky Island. And this is the one we're going with, guys, because I think it's going to be challenging. All right, guys, well, this is our starting point. And we have a compact machine, the giant one. Let's get into it. There you go. Very nice. Now let's see what we've got. Hmm, 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 hmm. So I'll need one of those. Let's put it right in the middle. Is that the middle? It's almost the middle. It feels like the middle. It is the middle. Right. And place a tree. There is no twerking, guys. That's why you've got bone mill. Let's do that. And there is uh, ultimine, which is your grave key under the escape key. Just keep holding it to mine the whole tree. And let's get some logs, crafting table. And I think you can, yeah, you can change it into a crafting station just by adding it to the crafting grid. And there you go. And now that's not tinkers. That's just a... Uh, a mode called crafting station, but this leaves the items here, which is amazing. Right, the next thing I want is some cobble. And cobble you get from shift right clicking the dirt with an empty hand. By doing this, you get clumps of soil, which can be transformed into uh, into dirt. That was kind of weird. Anyways, like so, this gives you extra dirt. And these guys, the rocks, give you cobblestone. Now, because we don't have work mode, we need to automate long mill. And we will do that by making a composter. Oops, and I think it goes like a so. Yep, it does. Very nice. Now this gives us a few things, some bone meal, a gilded barrel, item transporter, wooden hopper, and mushroom barrel. Now let's see, how do we automate this? We go like a so. What is this? It's just, uh, just a good looking barrel. We go like a so, then the chest on top. Or actually, they are giving us all the things we need to semi-automate this. Yeah, right. And this goes like a so, I believe. No, guess it needs more space. Hmm. Let's go like so. Wait, what? You cannot place that here? We're confused. All right, guys. Well, I'm confused. Why did we get the item transporters? Because I can't seem to place them here. Anyways, let's place a few of those inside. The fruits that get. All right. How about some leaves? Nice. Well, <laughs> not too much. But anyway, that will do for now. Next thing I want to do is uh, a little farm. Nice, we got infinite water now. We just need a bucket. And I also want to make... Oh, unless the flax seeds, which I need... Hold on, let me try. Nope, they need to be hoed. All right, I'll place some flax seeds and use some bone to get some flax, which is amazing. And this... The flax can be converted into a string, which can then be used to make string mesh. Perfection. Now the next thing I will need is a furnace. Um, since we have limited space, I will try to keep everything compact. And we need four stone. One of the stones will be made into a stone button. And this will be used to make a wooden gear. Very nice. And then we go like a so. Action. And this gives us a sifter. Very nice. Now if we go like this, do I need another stone button? Sec. No, any button will do so. An oak button is fine. And we go like a so, and we get a hand crank, which completes this quest. Oh, sorry, we also need gravel. Well, let's make a hammer. This is made from stone, rods, and two cobblestone. And to complete the quest, we'll need some gravel. We'll need some sand. And some dust. Perfection. Now let's take everything. Very nice. The next thing I want to do 
is get five string meshes perfect five hoppers and five sifters basically we had to make four string meshes and one wooden hopper because everything else and one sifter because everything else we got from quests now let's automate this shall we go like this yes they should be okay let's put in the string mesh right click perfect and then the wooden hopper shift right click on top of the sifters and then you will also need chests on top all right then we place the cogwheel not like this but like this perfect and the hand crank right here now let's see let's go with uh, dust here gravel here and sand here and also let's get some leaves we are going to see few of each but basically once we get two iron nuggets and we ain't got any and some undecided chunks which we get from what do we get this from oh from dirt right i did not put any dirt let's put in some dirt affection and let's do that but once we get two undecided chunks and two iron nuggets we are going to be able to make the next level mesh which is the undecided mesh oh actually guys once you get four nuggets we get the underside alloys that you need so yeah use it straight away to make some underside meshes which give you a much better result all right guys next thing i want to do is a water wheel make some shafts now i'll need some slabs just like a so and then a shaft no oh right a so perfect and then i need the slabs very nice now the water wheel will help us to automate the sieving now where do i place this how about if i jump up perfect that's what i needed all right and the cog wheel here now this should be perfectly fine i think you can place the sifters like so then the output chests like so and then hoppers on top of them then let's place underside meshes on the on this too we will sieve some more dirt and gravel to get some more iron nuggets and underside and i will need hoppers on top of each and chests for input noise now let's give this some gravel and let's give this some dirt and now we need some water we got a bucket from a quest reward We've got infinite water right here. Oops. Well, anyways, this can go here. And we'll need some water. Now it needs to go this way. Ideally. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Let's actually. Huh, how do I do this? All right. I'm thinking of going like a so. And basically, this water will not only provide overstressed. Oh no, how about if I remove this? Yes, this is perfect. I like the colors actually. I've never seen that before. All right. Um, okay, so these guys are being sifted. And then this can be used as a farm. I think so. Let's get some flax seeds and the sugar cane. Got limited space, so we need to be smart about everything. All right, let's see oh tomato seeds can they go like this yes they can beetroot seeds that's amazing what is that sweet berries i don't think i can oh i can i didn't know that right and pasture seeds what do they do i think they provide us with grass yes guys yes and then here oh my god oh my god right this we need to get some more underside and then i'm not sure if that's the best option but since we got a raw iron i'm going to smelt it and i'm going to use two ingots to get some shears which will allow us to make some more bone meal faster because leaves are the good source of bone meal now also if i sieve them what will i get if i sieve leaves all right huh so do we need to sieve leaves how much is that 65 chance so we don't put the leaves here no 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 sieving the leaves is a much better option we got the one pasture seed and this gives us a very nice shovel and a golden egg which can be used to transform dirt into delightful dirt which basically increases the spawn rate of passive mobs now i'm not sure if we're going to do this inside the box so i'll just leave it for now now let's keep on going with the quest line we need a waterlogged sieve which we basically get by placing the sifter ouch it's the sweet berry bush okay berry bush oh no why is everything 
disappearing. Anyways, right. We'll place this here, but let's see if this this works out like a so. Oh no. Well, this is waterlogged, but how about how do we make it so that the water doesn't flow? Hmm. Nice, like a so. That's perfect. All right. So if we we pass some sand, let's um, do four. That should be fine. We should get some clay, some sea pickles. Oh, and slime ball and salt. That's nice. Anyways, I think about kelp. Yeah, we need kelp as well later. Let's see how much. Why is this not? Hmm. All right. This process is not very efficient. Unless if we add a lot of leaves. And the hopper does not work. That's okay, I guess. Ah. Right. Anyways, so this is completely useless. Right, right, right. So, we got the clay. Got another half a stack, half a stack of clay balls and salt from quest rewards. Now we need some redstone. And the redstone you get from, of course, sieving dust. So let's sieve some dust. Yeah, five should be okay. Not a waterlogged sieve. Sifter, just plain one, I believe. Yeah, very nice. Let's see. All right, we got a redstone dust, perfection. And now we get eight more and a redstone lantern. Yeah, I don't need that yet. And by sieving dust, we also get bone meal, uh, which is, yeah, I think it's a much better source than actually automating this thing, which I need to right click as well. And where did it go? And it gets stuck in the hopper sometimes. So yeah, I don't like that. All right, guys, next step I want to take or do is actually automate the production of gravel, dirt, dust, sand, maybe something else. I don't know. Maybe I forgot something. But to do so, we need pedestals. And to get pedestals, we need a linking tool and we need a bookshelf. Now, to get a bookshelf, we will need some leather. The leather we can actually get from where is it right this thing the easter egg now how do i do that i think i'm going to make a few of those a few sticks is that a gate that is a gate so i want this like a so all right hopefully six pence is enough it's definitely not anyways well whoever gets out or i guess Right. Yeah. Whoever gets out. Right. Um. Whoever gets out uh, magically disappears. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice, I guess. Right. And then using the rabbit hides, we can make some leather, which is amazing. And <laughs> we were actually lucky. Now, do I have enough? No, I need some more paper. There you go. And we'll also need some of those like a soul perfection and now we need a gem any kind of gem we're going with appetite place this in your offhand place down the bookshelf where shall we place it let's place it right we don't need that anymore i think let's place that here and yeah you hold the gem in your offhand and the stick in your other hand or i think vice versa it doesn't matter and just right click Oh no, it consumes the bookshelf. Well, that doesn't matter, I think. Right, and we get the linking tool. Oh, nice. The quest reward gives us a bookshelf. Right, I'll keep this in the chest for now. Now, next thing, I want a pedestal. How do we make that? We'll need some stone. I smelted down some stone. I think we need some slabs. And if I'm not wrong, it goes like a so. Perfect. The rod is not consumed, which is very nice. But I guess I had to make this first. Let's do that. We need a squeezer. Oh no, we need a lot of iron. Well, let's see. I have some gravel. Let's uh, go with uh, 30. Let's go with 30. And let's see what happens. All right. Well... Yeah, it's done. And we got quite a lot of iron, actually. And we also got one emerald and one diamond, which is amazing. Right, let's... Uh, do we smelt it all down? Or is there a point of keeping some of it? Let's smelt it all. We can save more stuff later. Also, guys, I wanted to mention that there are events here. Like bees, like we had in Stoneblock 3. 
and sticks. I've disabled the sticks. And I guess I, I didn't have a base spawn yet. So I guess you don't get them to spawn in compact machines, which is not great to be honest, but it's okay. Right, we got the iron and they should go like a so. Perfection. Squeezer done. Now let's get that basic fluid tank. Amazing. Now for the squeezer, we will need five bricks, which are basically smelt clay balls and then we use the bricks and a wooden hopper to get a fluid hopper then 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 or actually do we need i'm not sure if we need the the fluid hopper let's actually check this out can this thing input just like so i don't think it can right right and we need blaze powder now blaze powder we get from dust let's see, sieve some dust a very small one i guess because i didn't get any all right we got a blaze powder now do i just right click it i guess so and let's place a block of something right here and then i just jump on it noise and this didn't work hold on a sec let me try that we tank like a soul and a fluid hopper that is perfection it did work but for a bucket we need three more blaze powder now let's see if we get any oh we're so lucky we're so lucky that's amazing fantastic let me make more dust now hopefully this will be enough as i already have two more and i just need one more all right we got it now oh i need a redstone signal right hopefully a wooden button is okay let me just check Nice. It is okay. Perfect. Let me jump. And now we should have our first lava bucket, which is amazing. And we get some dripstone, which I believe... Yeah, I think it's a very slow process. Oh, no. Oh, yes. We got enough iron. It's a very slow process, but I think we can automate lava with dripstone. Let's place it... I guess right here is okay. Hmm. And then, and then, what can we use? Let's use the underside, like so. Yeah. And place the lava right here. Very nice. All right. This, will that create lava? Maybe very slowly? Well, let's see. All right, guys. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. There are zero milli buckets. The lava is dripping, but I don't get any lava. All right, guys, the lava collection is taking a very long time. So we're going to pick it up and we're going to use it for the next step, which is a material generator. We'll need one bucket of lava and a bucket. Do we have any more iron? We don't. Oh, my God. We got some iron, which is very nice. And then we also smelted some gold. We'll need a bookshelf, a gold ingot and a stick. Perfection. Now let's place this here. Put this in your offhand. Right click. Perfect. And we get the upgrade tool, which is amazing. Now we need the ingots to make another bucket, like so, and then some water. Perfect. And now we use the water, the lava, and the gold ingot to. No, we don't. We use the gold ingot and the upgrade tool to make an upgrade base. And this is where we use the lava bucket and the water bucket to make a material generator, which is amazing. Now, what do we get from that? Oh my God, quite a few things. All right. And the first thing I want to generate is dirt. Huh? No, I don't actually. I want um, cobblestone. So how does this work? Let's see. I think we just need some stone. I have no idea how this works, so let's try it. Let's go like a soul. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so how does this work? Oh my god. I'm such a noob. Okay, so I think it goes here. Yes. Right, guys. Well, I changed it a bit. I placed the stone on top. Then the pedestal on the bottom. I placed the material generator. And now it is generating cobblestone for us. Which is amazing. Next thing I want is the same pedestal, but with dirt. Now, I'm not sure, guys, if you have any ideas. Why is this not working? Does it just need time? I'm getting zero lava. Anyways, let's make a dirt one. Now, to get a dirt one, we need a compost and an organic compost and i guess this is the only way we can get it because we don't have access to rotten flesh right we've got straws we've got bone meal we've got dirt we just need the tree bark which is made on a cutting board let's uh, do that real quick very nice do i have an axe i do have an axe and let's get some logs where do we place can we 
place it here. Yes, we can. That's amazing, fantastic. Now, this goes into our offhand. We select the axe. Shift right click. Yep, perfect. We need just one more. That's amazing. Now, this we can use later or create. All right, or tree bark. Two bone meal and one dirt. Oh, and also some. Where is that? Where is that? Some straws. Now, how many? I don't remember. But we'll. F yeah, perfect. Was enough. That's amazing. Now, now, now. Do we go with that? Oh, we got some dirt and a hoe. Oh, nice. Luix hoe. That's nice. We're going the same way. We just need. Are those guys the same? I think they are the same. Right. We need, we need, we need another material generator. So I've got the next material generator. Whip that into the offhand and right click. That is perfect. We're getting dirt now. That's amazing. And dirt we need to get to get uh, andesite i believe unless uh why why am i doing this i don't remember because i can't go with andesite now guys if i just get three more andesite we can make another one of those which does andesite all right we should be able to get what we need and we just need one polished andesite which is perfect we just place it here what i want next is a millstone that's easy to get a few iron nuggets i definitely have some and some andesite perfection i guess i'll just need one perfect that's an andesite casing and this one a plank all right and i think i need polished andesite or something polished like diorites, etc. And yeah, we get a millstone, which is amazing. Now, will this be overstressed? I think it will be. No, it's not, which is perfect, guys. Now, let's see. Where do I want this? Um, hmm. All right. Let's remove these guys and place it here. Perfection. Now, if I take some cobblestone and just place it here, this will turn it into gravel. Yes, <laughs> nice. Quite slow, but nice. I don't I don't need to do it myself anymore. All right. And of course, if we place the next level thing, the gravel back into it, we get sand. And if we place sand, we get dust, which is amazing. I've got another material generator ready. Right. Hand, place it. And that will give us andesite. All right, guys. <laughs> I was just jumping up and down to see if it's ready, the lava. And just before I could press the record button, the lava just suddenly appeared. So that is amazing. Amazing. Yes, next thing I did is actually get some grass blocks, which uh, you get from most blocks and then you place a pedestal and then I used this shovel with silk touch and yeah, it gave me some grass blocks, which is amazing, fantastic. Now what I want to do is place some grass, get some bone meal, okay, bone meal, and then you cut the tall grass, no? Oh, you break it, I guess. And I place it back. Yes, I can. Nice. All right. So I break it. And then there's a chance that I get some special seeds. Well, I didn't get uh, what I wanted, but uh, I did get some sage seeds, which is good, I believe. And then we also got some wheat seeds. Anyways, everything will be nice to have because, because everything assists us of getting quests done. All right, let's try this once more on camera. What is that? Demon's Dream Seeds. Is that what I need? Oh, yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. Demon Dream Seeds. And then I need a Demon's Dream Fruit. Is that here? Bone meal that? Yes. Perfection. We got the Demon's Dream Fruit. All right, then I need some flint and steel. I've got flint somewhere. Perfect. That's from a quest as well. Nice, nice, nice. And then I want to test out, does it work on coal blocks? Let's see. Basically, what I want to test out is I don't want this fire to go away. Now, where do I place it? Let's place it here. Throw it here. Light it on fire. Very nice. Now, what? What do I need from that? I don't remember. Right, we need to throw in some bricks. Let's make, let's, uh, yeah, let's do eight. And what else can we throw into it? Hmm. Okay. And sand as well. Okay. Right, let's throw in some sand actually. Oak sapling, how did that happen? Hold on a sec. We've got more sand here. Perfection. I don't know, let's, uh, let's actually take a stack. 
Ooh, nice. And then let's take five is okay. Actually, four should be enough. Let's throw it inside. Never brick. Perfect. And now we make another brick, which I guess we could use. Yes, perfection to make Neverak generation. Right, let's take these off. Place the wooden hopper back on and the material generator. And this should make Neverak noise. Noise, noise, noise. Next thing I want to do is actually take some of our diamonds. We have enough. This is perfection. Make a diamond pick. Noise. Get a bucket of lava, which has been generated by our dripstone thingy. It does take some time. I guess it's uh, random or it does really kind of gather itself. And then, yeah, you've got lava, which is perfect. And then let's get another bucket of water. And where shall we place this? Let's place it here, I guess. Yep, that's fine. That is fine. And get that obsidian. Very nice. Which, uh, yeah, completes a quest and gives us more obsidian. Where do I place the portal? I guess here is okay. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Portal is done. Let's... Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Am I not able? <laughs> I thought I could. I guess. Well, I guess this is where my challenge ends. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. We will continue in the box. But for a second, let's go outside. Let's go like so. All right, let's see. Oh, that is looking absolutely fantastic. I love it. I love this shaders bug. Right. Well, <laughs> there's nothing to see here, I guess. Yep. The never is a void. Right, do we get anything? We get a floating exoflame and a portal charm, which is amazing. We can actually equip that. Hello, please. There you go. Right, what is that? I have no idea. You guys probably know. But anyways, guys, I think that is getting started complete. Besides the bees, of course, because they do not spawn in the compacting machine compacting machine anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed the first episode i'm excited to try and finish the pack with uh, minimum time outside the compacting machine hopefully you will follow me on this little challenge but i'm guessing episode two or three i'm going outside the compacting machine anyways but it will be fun right guys i hope you enjoyed the episode and i hope to see you in the next one i'm loving those shaders I'm loving the bug and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And please leave a like. It is appreciated. Thank you. Bye.